Kaspersky Hybrid Cloud Security in AWS is a configured AMI image, which consists of a KSC protection management server and packages to remotely deploy protection on instances. For the product to operate, AWS infrastructure must be configured in advance. To simplify this process, you can use the cloud formation template available on the product page in Marketplace AWS. A link to the instructions can be found in the additional resources section. Once the AWS infrastructure preparations are complete, we go to the product page in Marketplace and subscribe to the product. We then move on to the instance configuration settings and choose the required region. Instance size, VPC, and the subnet. In the security group settings section, we specify the security group that was created when preparing the AWS infrastructure. After that, we go to the AWS console and wait for the instance deployment process to finish. This process could take around 40 minutes. The instance with KSC is ready. Now we need to attach a role to the instance so there is access to the AWS API and to protection deployment. The IAM role is created in the infrastructure preparation stage. When the instance is ready, we connect to it via RDP. When you connect to the KSC Protection Management Server for the first time, Cloud Environment Configuration Wizard will be launched. You need to walk through all the steps of this wizard to configure AWS infrastructure protection. Provide a valid license for Kaspersky Hybrid Cloud Security. We select Use IAM Role, Deploy protection must be chosen for automatic protection deployment to existing and new instances. We agree to use Kaspersky Security Network. When the wizard finishes, an AWS device group appears that displays the current instances that are available in this subscription. We can look at the properties of these instances. Tasks are also created for automatic remote deployment of protection to Windows and Linux instances. These tasks are located in the Tasks section. Also. Policies with default settings are created for agents. After a short time, protection will be deployed to the instances running in AWS. When a new instance is created and launched, a special IAM role and security group must be specified for it. After a short time, that instance will be displayed in the KSC Management Console and protection will be deployed to it automatically. We connect to the client via RDP and make sure the protection has been deployed. To do so, look at the list of services. To test protection, we download iCAR and see that the file is immediately blocked.
Then we connect to Management Console and check the events for the client. An alternative way to deploy protection is to use so-called deployment scripts. Deployment scripts are available on the management server Here you can find scripts for different versions of operating systems. The deployment script must be launched on a running instance or specified in the user data when deploying a new instance. We open the deployment script and copy its contents. Then we go to the AWS console and start creating a new instance. At this step, we need to insert the script to the user data field. Select the appropriate security group and launch the instance creation. After an instance is deployed, the Kaspersky Hybrid Cloud Security Protection Agent will be automatically installed on it. And that instance will appear in the list of protected devices on the KSC management server. Deployment scripts are also suitable for deploying protection to auto-scalable groups. The required scripts are available on the Kaspersky Hybrid Cloud Security Support website. We go to the AWS console and create a configuration for auto-scalable groups. Choose an operating system image, for example, Windows Server, and the instance sizes, and then insert the script to the user data field. We give it a name, and select the appropriate security group. Then we move on to configure the auto-scalable group. We enter the name, select a subnet, and configure the auto-scaling rule. We choose the average value for CPU. We set it to 90% and a check time of 50 seconds. We also need to specify the maximum number of instances. We set Three. We check all the parameters and start group creation. When the group has been created, we need to go to the Instances section and make sure that the creation has started. When the load increases and the threshold values are reached, new instances are deployed Protection is installed on them too, and they are displayed in the KSC console. As load decreases, instances will be automatically removed from the AWS console and KSC management server. Demonstration of Application Launch Control. Two applications are installed on the protected machine, Fire File Manager and the File Archiver 7-Zip. We check that there are no restrictions on launching these applications. 
Go to KSC Management Console and launch the Application Launch Control component in Default Deny Mode. We do this by configuring the Kaspersky Security for Windows Server product policy. We return to the protected machine and try to launch the applications. The launch of untrusted applications is blocked. We now go to the KSC Management Console and check events. After that, we create a rule for one of the applications whose launch we want to allow. We return to the protected machine and launch the application that we created and enabling rule 4. It launches with no restrictions. Demonstration of automatic exploit protection. The test bench consists of the machine from which the attack is performed and where Metasploit framework is installed and the victim's machine on which our product is installed. We prepare the attack landscape on the machine with Metasploit framework. We return to the protected machine, start Firefox, and follow the malicious link created with the help of Metasploit framework. We go to the SSH session with Metasploit framework. From the console messages, we see that we have successfully attacked the machine and established a remote session with administrator privileges. We use the command sessions to connect to the attacked machine. As an example, we initiate a reboot of the victim's machine. We then return to the protected machine and see that it is restarting. We go to the KSC Management Console and enable the Exploit Prevention component in Compromised Process Termination Mode. We now return to the protected machine open Firefox and follow the malicious link. The Firefox process is terminated by the Kaspersky Security for Windows Server. We go to the SSH session with Metasploit framework. We see that the exploit has tried to download to the protected machine, but failed. We return to the KSC Management Console to the Events tab. Here we see an event about an attempted attack against the protected machine. 